is an electronic hand warmer from China, which I saw Big Clive take apart a similar one a few weeks ago, so I ordered one. And it came in yesterday and I was excited to do a little bit of testing with it. So I did initially turn it on with the batteries that were enclosed in it, which are these guys, and uh, ran it. It did achieve a temperature of 60 C, but only um, begrudgingly. What I had to do to get 60 was attach the temperature probe to the side of it and the best it could do when it was facing up into the open ambient air was about just over 50. So before I gave up on it what I did was I took a carbon felt pad put it down on here then I turned it over so the heat was trapped between the carbon felt and the hand warmer and indeed it did get to 60 C. I suspect that after the batteries start uh, getting down in their voltage it's not going to support the kind of current that will be needed. Uh, this guy draws about 1.2 according to Clive per side so there's a heating element on each side of this thing and each side is drawing about 1.2 amps when you've got a full voltage of 4.2 then when you start moving down below 4 where you're going to get about an amp but that will give you up close between 55 and 60 and then I think as the voltage starts to drop you're probably going to get down around 50 or a little more and what I found was these batteries were about 1000 milliamps each in other words one amp hour it's pretty hard to even find an 18650 cell these days they're lowered that low that's why these are now out of there and instead in here I've got some Panasonic NCR 18650Bs that are rated for 3400 milliamps which will give me about three hours out of this guy as opposed to the one hour that I got out of these. So if you're interested in one of these they'll have a place in your quiver and you want to get from one hour and improve it up to three then the following teardown and uh, reinstallation of the cells will be of interest to you. This is what the inside of the hand warmer looks like and there's two 18650 cells in here. I just tested it they do get it up to 60F if you give it long enough. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at these cells. So when Big Clive did his analysis on this unit you'll see around the around the nine minute mark just past there he assesses how much current they're drawing and at 4.2 volts which is the full charge for these lithium ion bank he's getting I think it was 1.2 amps and I think around 3.6 volts which is nominal for a lithium ion cell he's had one amp which is a pretty decent voltage and that's per side so I'm gonna set this a tester to a load of 2 amps and we're gonna see what the capacity of these guys is and how long they would last if they so this just stopped and it got us to about an hour and now we're going to just see what the capacity is and we got about 1.96 so 2 amp hours for these batteries before I get uh, this put away I thought it's a good time to make a comment about the wiring in this unit and the implications so this wire here is uh, which leads there's one set going to each heating pad. They're just basically passing the uh, voltage of the battery through the pad. And back there's the con two contacts pair. This is a 24 AWG gauge. It's silicone coated wire. Um, this stuff here isn't silicone. And um, I'm assuming that that's also 24 EWG. I can't 
read any specs off of it. I can on this one through the magnifier. <clears throat> but anyway, the thing I wanted to point out was these wires are taking the amperage for both sides of this and feeding it in and then each one takes this and puts it out to where they want to go. So the typical current load ratings for multi-core wire which this is and um, let's just say this is somewhere between <clears throat> 7 to 24 or 4 to 6 core in the wire uh, whichever regardless the maximum is typically 1.6 to 1 1.4 amps these guys draw as much as 1.2 when the voltage is at 4.2 so you're looking at um, a wire that should really support two and a half amps and uh, while I was running the discharge I didn't notice these getting excessively hot however I would say that that's not the most desirable gauge for wire that's leading to the source of the power itself and I think Big Clive made a similar comment when he was looking at these so when I spot weld my Panasonic pack I'll probably go to about 18 gauge which uh, may be a bit more it's it supports safe that's anomaly at least five amps but I'll be more comfortable with that NCR 18650B Panasonic battery pack spot welded and we've got the mains wires soldered to the nickel strip and attached to our capacity tester and now we're running a load test on the capacity of this new pack so it just started beeping at me and it just cleared the three hour mark at 6100 milliamps so I think we're gonna get three times more with those cells than we did with these guys here Well, I'm not the brightest guy on the block, but is it just me or I filled this up about an hour ago. I've tried to light it twice. I'm going to give it a third time try. Kind of interesting. There's a uh, the pattern on here. Isn't that the insignia of the uh, Chinese military or Chairman Mao's little red book or something? I'll have to go look that up. <laughs> 